This video will discuss question 13, which goes as follows. With the limiter in place, what is the amplitude of the output oscillating waveform at node VO? To solve this question, we should set up three equations. The first equation is a nodal current equation at node VA, where we assume that the diode is not turned on yet. So that will be the following. VA minus 15 volts over 3 kilo ohms plus VA minus VO over 1 kilo ohm will be 0. And that can be rewritten to give us uh, VA in terms of VO as follows. VA is 15 over 4 plus 3 fourths of VO. The second equation that we need to find is the expression of V1 in terms of VO. And we can do that using simple voltage division because uh, it, the V1 lies in between two resistors, 20.3 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms. So V1 is just R1 over R1 plus R2. Again, we assume that the diode is turned off here. And that is approximately, if we fill in the values, VO over 3. Because uh, if it were exactly VO over 3, then it wouldn't be 20.3, but 20 kilo ohms, but it's close enough for our purposes. The final equation that we need to set up is the constraint when the diode will turn on. Now the diode will turn on as soon as the difference in voltages between V1 and VA is 0.7 volts. And since we've described V1 in terms of VO in the previous equation and VA in terms of VO in this equation, we can now substitute these two equations and solve for VO and that'll give you a final numerical value of negative 10.68 volts approximately. So the amplitude of the output oscillating waveform will be approximately 10.68 volts.